Right, so as you can see, we are in the middle of Top Liddell, the Hormy magazine uh, layout. Here we are in HQ. Yeah, welcome aboard. Mike, can you tell us about it? Uh, right, well, uh, Top Liddell, it's been our test track for seven years now. Um, I built the first part of it in 2012, um, which actually is it's kind of that bit there. That's the original part. And then um, in 2018, when I moved here, um, I extended it so it now has a much longer run. So it's gone from being 11 foot by 10 foot originally to being 16 foot by 10 foot. Um, I've got layout envy. It's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm quite chuffed with this one actually, it's coming together well now. Um, as you can see behind us, there's a lot more scenic work still to do. Um, all that storage yard that is, is on show at the moment will be hidden eventually. Um, and that will be a nice scenic vista across the front here as well. So there's plenty more work to do. And of course on top of the double O, underneath I should say, we have the O-gauge layout. Yes, yeah, yeah, there's the O-gauge test track underneath, which actually, the O-gauge actually set the footprint for the double O-gauge when, when we got moved here. If only I did that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because the O-gauge originally was, was built underneath the original version of Top the Dell, but it outspanned the length of it. Um, and then when it moved here, I was able to readjust all the heights as well to make it a bit more comfortable to work and everything as well. Um, and then at that point, having a square box to put it in as well, I could extend the length of Top the Dell to give me the full 16 foot length as well. So. And then if we're being really brave and we go down a level once more, yep. you're very lucky enough to have a garden railway as well. Uh, yes, yeah, that's, that's my uh, new spare time project, is that one. <laughs> so so I've, I've been building that over the last, uh, what, 18 months. Um, and it's now at the point where it all runs. Um, it's got a lot more work again to do on that one as well. Um, there's a lot more work to do outside the landscape garden as well to bed it all in. There's more track to go in down here. There's loads of things I want to do with locos and rolling stock. The list, like everyone else loves layout, it's never ending. So. I suppose on the... You've obviously got to have uh, rolling stock because of the magazine. Yes. What is your preference to rolling stock on these layouts? Oh, in terms of uh, region? Well, yeah. Um, it varies from region to well, from layout to layout. Actually, I'm, I've got a very varied interest when it comes to railways. I'm, I'm into everything really from well, BR steam right through to the present day, really. Um, Such a safe answer. It's good. It's a very good answer, isn't it? Well, I've thought about that. Yeah, yeah. Well, on the top here, obviously, you can see we've got Midland region stock running on top of the hill. But if you go in the drawers underneath, you'll find the southern region stock that belongs on 12 trees. And if you go down to the O gauge at the bottom, we've got mainly western region hydraulics with a few other things in, interspersed as well. So I have generally got very varied interest. <laughs> I suppose it makes you the right man for the job. Oh, yes, that's right. It is actually quite an important part of what I do. I've got to have a, a good broad knowledge across a lot of things. It's no good me just knowing about one loco glass. It wouldn't work. So here we are at Topley Dale. As you can see, it starts off with a lovely tunnel coming to a nice viaduct here. As you can see, coming round to Topley Dale Station itself. A very nice car park one of the Hornby station buildings and the station itself as you can see come round to the goods yard and you can see a lovely little Ruston in the back there and as we come up the main straight go to another bridge very photogenic this layout and then the new section that's just been completed is this top corner that makes for a very good test layout particularly with all the point work we see just in the foreground here coming through the tunnel you can see it goes to a lovely fiddle yard in the back there and of course you've got a bypass loop at the front here, if you so, so wished, which will be scenic. And then coming back round, of course, we're back to the first viaduct again, and then through the main station. As you can see, underneath we have the uh, O gauge layout, which is a sort of double track loop with a goods passing loop at this end. Of course, we've got a uh, lovely depot here full of some O gauge beasties. And 
when that comes around to here where we've got a lovely new 37 and then of course that's directly underneath the viaduct underneath all that of course you go right to the floor and you've got the beginnings of the garden railway as you can see some very nice long rakes there and this is just a giant loop on the uh, the floor which then leads outside through two holes there and goes around the garden I suppose thank you very much for um, inviting me over today. You're very welcome. Um, <clears throat> obviously, we have some secret projects we're working on. Yes. Yep. Um, and hopefully, we'll be seeing a lot more of this layout on yep. uh, social media, etc., yes, going forward. Yep. But um, yeah. 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 yeah, thank you very much. Excellent. Thank you, Richard. Thank you.